all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 back with another video all right y'all back with some flyweight news now it's official looks to be official this is on ufc news alerts ig page casey o'neill's opponent has been named casey o'neill is going to be taking on Teresa blada this fight is targeted for ufc 305 august 18th it's going down y'all know i did a video yesterday talking about this one um i named some opponents that i felt were good for but i thought that you know somebody like no disrespect to blade at all but you know fighting somebody that just came in with only two fights wasn't really going to be a good test for at this point and might be a danger for somebody like blade or even like ivana petrovic right now so uh yeah they got this one scheduled it's locked in i i suppose because everybody else has been taken you know veronica hardy just fought and if casey o'neill wants to come back maybe veronica hardy wasn't on that turnaround time you know they matched miranda maverick up with tracy cortez and Jasmine's locked in with Vivian Arujo. So those were good fights, but um, they probably just wanted to go ahead and give her a fight. And, you know, she was looking to get back in there, so they had to get somebody that was open. But, um, yeah, my thoughts on this one, um, you know, it could be a good fight. It could be entertaining because both fighters have exciting styles. You know, um, Teresa Blade, she likes to go straight in there. Uh, you know, she's a grappler, wrestler, uh, pretty tough fighter on the ground, good jujitsu. Uh, it's a stand-up game that's still kind of growing and still budding. Uh, Casey O'Neill, you know, she's a fighter that likes to put on a lot of pressure, has a long, you know, has long, uh, long arms, you know, the, those long limbs, you know, sh she delivers real rangy strikes, um, doesn't have a lot of pop on her shots, but she will, she will take shots to give shots. So she, she is an exciting fighter at that, you know, um, that lack of defense makes up for it, uh, for making, you know, for making it for an exciting fight. So I think with this fight here, you know, we're going to have some explosion between these two, um, you might see Blader trying to, you know, dictate the pace a little bit with her striking, but I can see her trying to get this fight to the ground because that's where she's more so um, grounded at, you know. That's where she uh, feels stronger at, you know. Um, Casey O'Neill, um, with her coming off of two losses, I feel like, you know, this is kind of a confidence builder for her. You know, they're trying to get her, get her back in there to improve, but I'm not sure if this is the one that's going to help her really, like, improve where she needs to be which is her defense and her stand-up game because Teresa Blade is going to force more of a ground fight, I believe. You know, Teresa's working on her strength stand-up game as well, but um, I don't think it's going to be her stand-up game that's going to give Casey O'Neill problems. I think it's going to be more of her clinch game and, you know, her her ground game here. So we'll see who can uh, be quicker with their jujitsu, jitsu who's slicker on the ground, who, gets, who can get more of a read on their opponent on the ground. Um, again, going back to Casey O'Neill with those two losses to Lipsky and Maya, I wanted to see her take on a little... Uh, uh, a little bit more of somebody like Veronica Hardy or uh, Marina Moreau. You know, Marina Moreau brings that level of boxing that I think would test Casey O'Neill striking. But um, again, you know, with her doing her OnlyFans thing, you know, she she probably just wasn't in the mix or willing to take the fight. Um, yeah, th this one here, I think, yeah, it would be entertaining, but it could be a gift and a curse for both fighters here. You know, for Casey O'Neill. I don't really think she's gonna like learn so much from it. I think she could win this fight, but what if she loses? It's really gonna knock her down the ladder. It's gonna take her out of the rankings. You know, it's gonna take her out of the rankings here, or she could get exposed in another way here, right? Against a fighter that's still coming in with only two fights. You know, Teresa Blader lost her very first fight to Natalia Silva, which I believe that was a bad mismatch on the UFC. Uh, she fought. Gabriela Fernandez, another hard-hitting striker that gave her some problems, but she was able to persevere and come through with her uh, ground game. Her ground game saved her in that fight. Here, I don't know if it'll save her 100% because, again, Tari Casey O'Neill is also a ground fighter. You know, she likes to strike with a lot of pressure and volume, but Casey O'Neill likes to fight to the ground. So if it's taken to the ground, it will be interesting. Um, if Teresa Blader wins this fight. Again, it's a gift that occurs here. It could be dangerous. You know, her being 22 years old, still growing. She could go in here and beat the number 12 or whatever, number 12, number 13, and get ranked. But from here, she's going to be going up. And I believe, you know, from there, man, like, she's going to be in the shark tank. Like, this is the one opponent I feel like Teresa Blader has the ability to beat. But even then, that's that's hard. It's, even then, it's a 50-50 fight because everybody else in the top 15, I, I don't know if Teresa Blader beats right now. Again, no disrespect to her. You know, I think she is promising, but I don't think right now her skill sets are ready for anybody else in the top 15, let alone Casey O'Neill. This one's going to be a hard-fought fight, but everybody else right now, from Caitlin Chikagan and Viviana Arujo, 
Jessica Andrade, uh, Amanda Ebos, Natalia Sil the Silvas, period. You know, all those girls, even on the lower half here, I think would be a problem for her. So, you know, with them giving her ranked fight right away, I know it's exciting for her, but it could be it could be danger. It could be danger from here. But that, that was all they had for her. So we'll see how it goes, y'all. Maybe if she does get this victory, maybe she can still fight down, you know, when she needs to to see where she's where she stands. But Teresa Blader going into this fight needs to really utilize her reach. You know, she's a long fighter. Utilize that long jab. Those those knees, tie clinch knees, you know, uh, try to counter her more. Casey O'Neill's Muay Thai with her own uh, force to fight to the ground. Use that ground and pound to really hurt Casey O'Neill. Uh, don't get it. Don't get caught up in firefights with Casey O'Neill. Don't trade with her. You know, um, mark her up, piece her up in that type of fashion. For Casey O'Neill, she's got to be relentless. You know, she's got to give this girl work. You know, she's got to come in with that that forward pressure because Casey O'Neill, I believe, does have a good gas tank. Not that physically strong, but I think that Casey O'Neill has a good gas tank and she'll keep coming and coming. So, you know, I think that's important for Casey O'Neill to keep letting shots go, uh, force that fight to the cage, cage wrestle, you know, press press her, use her head control, take her down, force, you know, top control on her, you know, so she can get the, the victory this time. But, um, yeah, um, I, I think, yeah, for Casey O'Neill, not much is going to come of it as far as what questions need to be answered. But for Teresa Blader, again, yeah, she's in a position to win. It could be big for her. But, yeah, top 15 is going to be rough, y'all. So, guys, let me know what y'all think of the fight in the comment section. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.